Hey there ladies and gentlemen, Simon here with the season 1 finale of The Witcher. Um, it's been an interesting journey and it's got a lot quicker than I expected. Um, but, you know, again, having come into this with no real knowledge um, or ever having played the games, um, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I have really enjoyed everything that's been put forward. And like I said previously, I've been really surprised of how well um, certain elements that I thought were probably not going to be as good, such as, I mean, Henry Cavill as Geralt. Um, I, you know, I, I was actually surprised that he he's actually done really good. Um, and I've enjoyed the more complex aspect of the storytelling, the way it was split into the three different timelines, the little hints that it would give you here and there. And, you know, it really challenges you to try and pick up on those hints. And I like shows that are a little bit different like that. I like shows that sort of either make you think or, you know, allow you to pick up on, you know, certain hints to try and figure out what's going to happen either in that episode or further down the line. So I've enjoyed this show very, very much. And um, whenever season two comes out, I know that they were filming it before, well, everything went to hell. Um, I'm going to really, really look forward to, to seeing where it goes. Now, with regards to this last episode, I'm going to assume we're going to get some kind of a showdown with Nilfgaard. Um, I'm assuming that Cirilla is going to run into to Geralt. Um, and, you know, their story will probably continue on into season two. Um, I hope anyway. Because, you know, the last episode focused a lot on um, Geralt arriving... Basically, we we kind of all synced up to the one timeline. We learned that Geralt was in um, the city at the time of the attack by Nilfgaard. Um, Yennefer went back to the Mage Tower where she was, you know, taught how to use her power. Um, and obviously, you know, she's had a huge impact. Um, well, I should say it's had a huge impact on her. Um, you know, she's very much a a doubter when it comes to the way things work there. And, you know, she went so far as to try and show some of the initiates that, you know, this this isn't what you where, where you want to be, especially as those initiates were not really powerful. Um, you know, things have obviously gotten bad. But it showed us how, you know, the Brotherhood of uh, Mages didn't choose to get involved. Um in Nilfgaard's conquest. You know, Nilfgaard's an interesting one, and I said this in the review of the last episode, that Nilfgaard is positioned as the villains in this show. But when you look into the... Um, I guess when you look past the surface of it, you realise that, um, you know, they actually seem to treat their citizens better than you would think. Like, for example, in the last episode, there was a scene where I thought there were slaves digging in a mine. It turns out they were citizens, and they were actually getting treated fairly well. Um, you know, so appearances can often be deceiving. And, you know, especially as we learn that the Queen isn't as good a person as we imagined. You know, she's very oppressive. She's almost... Um, well, I mean, she is basically a dictator in that hair word is law. Um... And so, you know, it's it's just, it's a very complex set of events that's going on here. So, yeah, we're going to get into this finale. Now, just for those wondering, this show is going to re be replaced by Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the final season, which should be coming out around the time this is up on YouTube. Um, so I won't be holding another poll just yet for a replacement show, because Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is going to run for a few months. Um, but we'll see where we end up once uh, I finish up some other shows. But okay, we're jumping into this. Before we do, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters, Frank Tremel, The Lone Detective, Karen Abel, Raccoon Shampoo, Flordo Toku, Ace, Nick Walters, The Seven Deadly Sins, Damon Smallwood, Ollie Brown, and Cody Fleming. So, without further ado, let's jump in and let's see what happens. Pure winds follow grave robbers. If I was a robber, I'd be taking their belongings. Oh shit, it's Yorin. As a butcher, you'd be amongst the corpses. From Game of Thrones. I was going home to my family when I came upon these poor souls. Sintran refugees, dead at least a week. Now they're a feast for the crows. Oh shit, is this the, uh, the village attack? <laughs> we owe it 
to him to do better. I like this guy, but I think he's he's a dead man. <clears throat> uh oh. What the hell is that? Oh, thank goodness Geralt stuck around. Ugh. Uh oh. Don't bite him. Don't bite him. Holy shit, there's so many of them. His daughter was cursed. Astriga. I guess I was the only one who didn't see her as a lost cause. Yes. You saved her. Well. Oh, Geralt. I, I enlisted a witcher. Geralt of Rivia. I often wonder where fate took him. Sir, forget Princess Cirilla. With the general, we can take the continent. Enough. We will not lose her. Uh, the Brotherhood's defenses. So they've got... They've got different agendas. Oh, are they close to the keep? Oh, God. I really wasn't far away. Uh, anyone want to help her? Oh my god. Oh shit, so each one of those fireballs is a person? Better hope she doesn't say again, buddy. You're the only one left. Don't do anything stupid is what she means. I don't like the look of this mist butcher. Mm -hmm. It's not natural. It's that same guy. Oh, he's gonna save Geralt. Hey, careful now. Easy does it. Because Geralt saved him. You're delirious, but you're not dead. And let live. What's that? It's our code. Hey, butcher. I think that's him as a kid. We don't. The world descends into chaos. That's a lot of food. Oh, a golden dragon. It's magic. <laughs> oh. What are those spores? She's poisoning them. Ow. Oh, but it ta it takes a toll. Sabrina, prepare your shot. Hold your fire until they're in range. See, they said this was just testing them, so I don't think this is the full of their Hold. Oh, 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 I see it's shards of glass. Like scatter bombs. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. They're attacking the main camp. Uh oh. Reserve your chaos. She's learning. That's a sort of returning. Can't you use magic to kill him? Slow down. To get to the center of it all. Oh, shit. Okay, he might not be dead. Oh, okay. I think he is dead. 
So yeah, they've only got a certain amount of magic they can use. Reach the gate. Oh, she's gonna they're gonna fire arrows in portals. Take cover. Fire. Oh, that's so cool. That's just wrong. And then he left. She left him. Geralt, I've been waiting for you. Oh no. So she left him to whoever that was. Are the worms? Oh no, I've got a feeling those worms are gonna turn them bad. The worms. Yeah. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that was harsh. Overkill a bit, maybe. Murdoch. Yes. Angrim is setting in. Wait. Did you neutralize the toxin? Renfrey. This. That's not real. Magic. Yeah. I was gonna say, Jesus Christ. Who is it? Who's actually talking to him? Is his mum? The only thing I've ever been good at. Is his mum? I'm glad our paths crossed that. I think she was a mage. People linked by destiny will always find each other. People linked by destiny will always find each other. How far? What's an hour with a swift enough horse? <laughs> Where's Roach? I'm just a simple merchant. I can't repay you for saving my life, but what I can offer you is a lore of surprise. Oh no. Which I have, but don't know. Nope. He, he's a... Consider your debt paid. <laughs> now can we go? Forget the bottle. Let your chaos explode. Yes. Just unleash. Do it. Here we go. Okay. She controlled it. Oh, it's the king. It's the incestuous king. See, there's this word called destiny. I'm not quite sure it applies in this instance. Sweet girl. We're all okay. The war is close, but we're okay. That's... I need to tell you something. Oh, my God. An orphan. I found her in the woods nearby. 
That's the husband. This is how I didn't imagine this was going to be how they met. And they finally meet. Unless this is another hallucination. Better not be. People think by destiny will always find each other. Yeah. Okay, so that was a kind of odd um, finale in that it didn't really... It didn't really wrap anything up like you would expect a season finale to. In fact, it probably felt more like a mid-season finale, you know, where it kind of joins together some long-awaited plot points and then builds you onto a bigger story. Um, so, you know, it certainly had a grandiose element that you'd expect a finale to have with the battle between, you know, Nilfgaard and the mages. Um... And damn, some of the stuff that happened there was brutal. You know, again, you kind of fault this show for the the visuals and the cinematography and and you know the the nastiness of it. You know, um, and it's ironic that we kind of finished the season watching all of those girls who had exceeded Yennefer in the Mage's Tower when she was an initiate all failing to, you know, be strong enough to stop Nilfgaard. And the only one who was strong enough was Yennefer. Um, and, you know, one of the things I really like was that she was told to, you know, forget the bottle and unleash her chaos. But even in that moment, she was still able to control it enough to make sure that it, um, it went around, the flame went around um I forget her name. The the mage lady. I forget the name. I remember Tess, I remember Fringilla, I remember Sabrina, I remember all of them. I just don't remember the bloody woman who trained them all. Um and yes, as expected, there was the um the meeting between Geralt and um Princess Um Cirilla. Um and I just didn't expect it in that way. I actually like the way that the the guy who he saved, who then in turn saved him, they both he he was the husband and he led Geralt to, you know, to where the princess was. I really like that kind of twist because you know you sit there and you think when she was talking about the husband, you think oh he must be dead, you know that's the way it tends to go. You know a widowed woman with a child, you know struggling to you know, make ways, um, and, you know, it comes upon the fact that, no, actually, her husband is alive, and he's bringing Geralt to the farm, um, we learn a little bit more about Geralt's childhood, his mum left him to this man who, I think, is in the Blue Mountains, who obviously turned him into a witcher, I don't quite know what's involved in a witcher trial, um, and his mum was a mage. Or a sorcerer. Same thing, I guess, yeah. The Brotherhood of Sorcerers or Mages, whatever. I can't remember exactly what it was called. Um, but no, I mean, don't get me wrong, this was a very good episode. It just, it was strange, you know. It didn't necessarily feel like the end of a season episode. You know, uh, when it comes down to it. Because you've still got so many things unresolved. I don't really think there's been one storyline that's really had any kind of a resolution to it out of all of them that are ongoing at the moment. Nilfgaard is still a threat and advancing. Um, Yennefer, I mean, you could say that she's kind of achieved her power, but she still has a lot of unresolved business. Uh, Geralt, obviously, his purpose for the season was to find the princess, and he did that. So I guess you could say maybe that was wrapped up. Um... And, you know, we, we've still got so much to discover, is what I'm trying to say. You know, the princess's power, who she really is. Um, you know, we've got to see the resolution to the Nilfgaard story. Um, see what happens with Yennefer. You know, so there's so much left to explore. You know, and uh, I guess they were really confident on there being a season two. Because you wouldn't write this in a way 
that you did, unless you were very confident you were going to get a second season to, you know, carry on the stories that you've you've kind of left open. So, but no, I enjoyed that, and um, yeah, very good season, a very very good season. I was very impressed of it. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll uh, I'll see you for the next one.